Hey YouTube, it's your boy Mizuki, back with another video, and in today's video, I decided to try out something new. While aimlessly scrolling through YouTube, thinking of a good video to make, I pondered and pondered and pondered, <laughs> and out of nowhere, an idea hit me. I asked myself, how come I've never broke down the moves on any of the transformations? And then it hit me, I should make a best ultimate move ranking video, because why not? So after that genius idea hit me, I flew over to the Trello, like literally, and started researching and brainstorming a perfect top 5 best, best proc side ultimate list that I'll be sharing with y'all today. Again, note that before making this video, I've gone over this list with many of the active members, admins, mods, you name it, other content creators such as myself, and of course the proc side encyclopedia, the Trello. To further add on, those of y'all that know me, y'all know that I make table of contents, aka time segments, to make everyone's life easier, <laughs> because I'm just that good of a person. So first things first, I'll go over the basics of the ultimates, and what each one does, then I'll roll into ranking them, and lastly, leave y'all off with a nice and simple conclusion. So without dragging anyone's time, let's hop right into the video. Now right off the bat, for those of y'all that don't know how this video will go, which is basically all of you, I'm gonna pick the top 5 best ultimates, whoa really? In the entire game, that means a couple if not one from each race, or maybe none, y'all don't know. <laughs> now also I'll be basing majority of these off of their scaling and certain perks they hold within them, so that's that. Now anyways, moving on to the ranking, and at number 5 right off the bat, we got the Music Segunda's ultimate, Guitarist Rakim. I I'm just gonna call it Rakim, I'm not even gonna try, I'm just gonna call it Rakim. Guitarist are whatever. <laughs> now the reason why I put this one at number five should be a no-brainer. Yes, the music segunda as a whole is kind of dookie. At least whenever I play it, it's not the best. It's a bit odd, and mastering it will take some time. But confusing can be a unique element, and for that I put it at number five. Now the unique element itself is the guitarist are not only does a load of damage, but lasts as long as as long as you could play the little rhythm mini game it offers. Uh, the keys that are played are D, F, and J, K. The longer you play, the longer you'll spray your opponent, meaning that you can go off and combo your opponent for a very long time. There's some of that element of mystery for y'all, I guess. Also, the beat's not too bad itself, and it scales off of spirit, which is nice for all y'all spirit players since there's a lot of you, including myself. <laughs> now moving on. Next up on this list, at number 4, we got ourselves Chaos Segunda's Ravage. Now I know, I know. There's a lot of follow ultimates here, but that's because Soul Reapers are ass and Quincy's, we'll get to them later. Just kidding, Soul Reapers aren't ass, I got some coming up actually. But anyways, Chaos is definitely one of the favorites of mine, although hitting it does require for your opponent to not be moving around too much. But upon impact, it's basically a very nice variation of the Heavenly Wind combo. Some may even argue that it's better, but it's not. Some people think that way, so oh well. It starts off slowly, your character chips away at your opponent, but then it begins to ramp up to the point where you're basically going ham on your opponent, capping off with a pretty nice final shot and a cool wolf animation to really cap things off. There, there's a very unique Segunda ultimate, it's, I mean it's a very unique Segunda ultimate that can be quite critical for your opponent. It's possible to hit, it's clean, it's powerful, and once your character is done wailing out on your opponent, he sends him flying and your opponent takes a huge damage, huge lumps of damage, upon impact with the ground. Damage from everything, pretty wild. Now moving on into the number 3 spot, we got ourselves the one and only Heavenly Wind combo. Now, Heavenly Wind combos def definitely doesn't fit the rest of these, and the reason for that is because one, it's a Soul Reaper ability, and two, it's a common. How how did that get here then, Mizuki? Now let me explain. For those of y'all that don't know, the Heavenly Wind combo is the OP version of Ravage, which is basically the ultimate that we talked about previously. Um, it one does more damage, two lasts longer, and three is a lot easier to hit on a player. It is a part of the Wind family, and despite its low ranking, Wind is considered the best Bankai and Shikai in the Soul Reaper category. Personally, whenever I play Soul Reaper, which is not very often, I normally play on my Wind account since Wind is just OP as hell. Again, placing it at number 3. Now next up on this list, at number 2, we got an underdog. But I decided to throw it in on this list because I love it so much, and it's the Chaos Segunda, aka the Chaos Flash, which is the move. Just kidding, it's not really an underdog, but it's a Segunda slash move. I don't necessarily hear from that often, especially in this day and age. Don't ask me why, uh, because I really don't know. 
but this ultimate is very OP, though it does take a lot longer to wind up than all the other ultimates. Upon impact, it's deadly. Like, really deadly. It's more powerful than any other ultimate you'll see on this list. It's like three great Grand Raceras, very strong, and upon impact, you're basically going to be stuck in a void, having the HP shred just right off of you. I say that because I've been there and I've done that. It's not fun. This ultimate is also hella unique, as despite how deadly it may seem, it's actually pretty calm and chill. Because it says here, one, this move scales off of spirit, whoa, big deal, and two, uh, does not deal damage to people that haven't been hit by the user before using the ability. So if you're just a random player strolling by and get caught up in the fight and are about to get blasted by the move, don't worry, it's not gonna even graze you as long as you don't get chipped by the player accidentally before that because then you might have a problem. I bet Prox had made this, uh, oh, there's a fly. I, be I bet Prox had made that rule because of how huge and OP this move is and if some random NPCs get caught in it, they'll be wiped and it's just unfair. W Proxide there. Now anyways, moving on. Now number one on this list, the last but not least one. <laughs> that, was, that was a real tongue twister. We got ourselves the only Quincy ability, even though Quincy's are still the best race. Um, proved by me actually. I made a video about it, go check it out. Um, the Floodgates of Paradise. Now I know, I know, y'all are gonna be like, but you got that recent nerf, how is this still at number one? Well, it wasn't a nerf, it was a little adjustment. Regardless, aside from that, the wall shots and the water clones, nothing has been necessarily nerfed. It's not even a nerf, it was a bug, now it's just, now it's still as OP without a bug. Regardless, upon activation, you're still screwed and you're still gonna be stuck in an endless water playground getting blasted and absolutely obliterated until you die. Only because a million clones on the spawn doesn't make it weak or make it fall off. And for those of y'all that don't know, I basically just explained it. The Floodgates of Paradise is the most OP Quincy Volt standing and ultimate and ultimate in the game. <laughs> I don't know why I said that twice. There's just so many things going on. Even veteran players still don't fully know how to handle this ability. You're being shot and jumped from every angle inside of the game. And the worst part is um, there's a massive water wall that doesn't let you out. Uh, to make it even worse, the person casting this move isn't affected by it at all and moves around with ease while your character is getting stunned and shredded uh, of his HP until his death. It's pretty OP, of course, again putting it at the number one spot. Now aside from all that, that's my list of the top 5 best ultimates. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Again, it really depends on the player. Believe it or not, some players would go crazy with, say, the fire ultimate. It can put down a chaos user, but regardless, the point I'm trying to make here is that it's not the f that fire is ass, and it really isn't. It's a very good Bankai and a Shikai. It's just that majority of the times, the chaos player who knows how to use his ultimate will defeat a fire player that knows how to use his ultimate. Y'all know what I mean? Anyways, with all that in mind, like, sub, all the proper things, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.